Okay, uh, first of all, our players and coaches are extremely excited to start spring ball tomorrow. Uh, we will practice Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays uh, this spring. A little bit different than last year. It's going to allow us more time in between each practice uh, so we can better coach it up, uh, spend a little bit more time in the film room you know, with our players in between practices, which I feel like that will really help. Uh, our goals for our spring, the first one is to improve our base offense and defense, really just the fundamentals. And we're going to focus on you know, what we want to be good at and uh, you know, really our foundation offense and defense as far as that goes. Second goal is really to keep our edge. You know, this time last year we were talking about getting our edge back. Felt like that uh, we did that, that mental and physical toughness that Auburn's known for, and we've got to keep that going. We're going to have a very physical spring uh, just like we did uh, last spring. Third goal is to play faster offensively and defensively, uh, really with an emphasis on communication. Um, you know, I think that's big with the pace offenses and defending the pace offenses. You've got to be able to communicate on both sides, so that'll definitely be an emphasis for us. And really the last goal is to develop quality depth at each position. Uh, last year we had a lot of unknowns. We know a little bit more about our team right now. Uh, you know, obviously we did this time last year, so we're really focused on the depth. A uh, few position changes. To note, going to spring, Tervon Reed will be moving to corner uh, during the spring, and Rudy Ford will be moving to safety. Questions? How long did you guys think about with Rudy, whether to move him back to running back or not, and why the move actually back to the safety? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, we feel like he's capable of being a, a very good player for us. And we just felt like it was more of a need at that position. Um, right now, he's got a great attitude. Um, and really looking forward to seeing how he does. To that end, Gus, what is the vision for filling the boundary side of the secondary where you lose three guys off the depth chart now and three four back, but you lose the other three off the depth chart? Yeah, well, you know, Coach is going to gonna mix and match some during the spring and uh, with Moncrief and uh, a couple of those other guys. And like I said, with the safety positions, you know, we're going to mix and match a little bit, and, and we'll see where we're at. And probably by the middle of the spring, we'll have a better idea. Moving forward. How does Robinson Therese fit into that? Is he going to be staying at star? Does he have any chance of moving the corner? Or? Yeah, right now we're playing on staying at star. Here at Moncrief, uh, where's he going to play? Well, he's going to start out at boundary safety. And like I said, as it goes, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of unknowns. And spring is a good time to uh, try people out of different spots. And so you could see some movement you know, in the safety positions. Gus, with the move of Ford to safety, does this mean is he not going to do any more running back? Is he still going to get some time uh, there at all? Spring, you will not. How about Justin Garrett? Are you looking at linebacker or star? Uh, he's got the ability to play both, and so you'll see him play a little bit of both you know, as the spring gets going. Gus, what have you seen from, from Nick between then and the last season and, and now? Well, you can tell uh, his leadership. Uh, he's more comfortable. You know, being around his teammates, uh, he's a leader by example. He doesn't say much, but when he does, people listen. And uh, I think that he's really looking forward to the spring, just being more comfortable. And uh, like I said, this is the first time we've actually had a quarterback that will go through spring practice, um, you know, that, that started the year before. So Coach Lashley's excited about that. And, uh, you know, that, that'll, that'll be a good thing moving forward. Yeah, they're emphasizing all season really that Nick did go for spring last year. What are the goals for him in this time now? Yeah, well, it's going to be really just the base fundamentals of our offense, just get better at that. Uh, you know, our run game, our play action game, we're going to really be able to slow down and, and really just try to get really good at what we want to. And that'll give us flexibility, you know, in the fall to, uh, you know, to have some wrinkles off that. Gus, have you made a decision on Calvary's percent? Yeah, well, Calvarez will be coming in. Uh, he'll be on a probationary status when he gets here, but he will be coming in with the uh, with the other signees. You talk about uh, practicing in the morning, the theory behind that. Yeah, you, you know, we, we did that last year. thought it was really good to get our guys up and around. Uh, that way, you know, you, you got them, then they, they go out and have the rest of their day. I know the kids like it uh, to go to class and have the rest of the day on their own. The coaches can – and also focus, you know, on the next day also. Left offensive tackle. Uh, with Avery having to be a little clear as to stay on the right side. Uh, you know, starting out, he'll stay on the right side. But uh, like I said, with those guys, Coach Grimes will do some mixing and matching, you know, at the tackle position. But uh, obviously we know what we're, we're getting with.
with Avery. Do you want to have a solid fall defense with that left tackle by the end of spring, or do you want to leave that open for the fall camp? Or what, what's your goal? With that? Well, ideally, you know, you'd like to have your answers, um, you know, by the end of spring. And that doesn't always happen, um, but uh, you would like to have as many answers as possible moving forward this summer, so they can work in one position, get better on their own, and they show up in fall camp ready to go. Is your expectation for one of those running backs to stand out in the spring where you think you have a number one guy? You know, you would like to have some sort uh, of idea moving forward. That running back is a position that we have had success with two and three, three guys. Uh, usually what happens in the course of a year, one guy kind of steps up like Trey did last year. But the great thing about us, or about this situation, is we got a lot of guys that we feel comfortable with. Well, Jonathan's a guy that has uh, he has a lot of quality, um, big game experience. He's a guy that we'll rely on, um, you know, to really lead that that back end, specifically the corner position. Did he get better last season? He, he, there's no doubt about that, and he's more confident. Um, he had a good all season working out, and uh, you can tell a little difference in him. I mean, he's I think he's really ready to step up as a leader back there. Yes, how, how important is it to establish a secondary option in the passing game outside of the same? Well, I think it's, it's very critical. Um, we feel like we, we have more options now. Um, like I said, with, with Nick going through spring, Jeremy going through spring, Jonathan Wallace back, um, there, there's more starters back. And so anytime you have that, you know, obviously you're, you're uh, wanting more weapons to develop, not just in the passing game, but also in the running game. Well, we'll see. I mean, he's very talented. We know that. But we'll have to get out there and, and uh, coach him up and, and, and see. How do you expect to split the reps at quarterback? Is it going to be more even than a, than a game week or because Nick didn't go through spring last year? Well, uh, Coach Lashley will have a plan. Uh, Nick will be with the first group out there. But at the same time, Jeremy will get some quality reps with the first group. Um, and then Jonathan Wallace will also get some quality reps. So. He'll have a good plan. The great thing about spring is uh, you get to rotate a bunch of guys in a lot of different situations. What, what specifically are you looking to see from Nick in the spring as part of the group? I, I think just taking more command of the offense and just the base fundamentals <coughs> and the base offense of, of who we are, just get more comfortable and get better executed. And that way you leave spring and you get to the fancy stuff later and uh, you still have that foundation to fall back on. Uh, Nick's a a very talented player, uh, not just running. He, he can really throw it. And I know I said that a lot during the spring or during the fall. But uh, now that he's got a spring, he'll be more comfortable, be more reactive. Um, we feel very good about him, you know, throwing the football. How much faster can you be on offense? Well, we think we'd be quite a bit faster. Um, you know, there's times last year, you know, like I said, we had a lot of new people out there, uh, a lot of moving parts. and. Uh, as you get more comfortable, the faster you can get. And when you think about pace, too, I mean, now defensively, there's so many pace offenses. We've got to get better on the defensive side, too, with our communication, our alignment, and everything that goes with that. Defensively, Coach, are you close <clears throat> to the numbers that you're looking for to make that step up and improvement? Yeah, we're, we're getting closer, there's no doubt. Uh, depth is a big factor. We didn't have a whole lot of, what I'd say, quality depth last year. I mean. We uh, had a lot of moving parts on the back end, and you know we were um, probably one injury away on the back end from being in a really dire situation. So um, this spring will be really good for us um, in all areas, and we'll have more depth coming out of spring. We feel like. How, you important, look at Nick, how important is it to find some quality depth that you can spend some pass rushers to replace the forward? And who are some guys that can do that? Well, Coach Garner is going to kind of mix, mix and match. Uh, you're liable to see some of the inside guys move to outside at times during the spring. And uh, so he's going to give some different guys some opportunities. And, uh, but you're exactly right. We need somebody on that other side to uh, you know, take D Ford's place <coughs> and become a threat in rushing the passer. The great thing is we've got options.